I have never asked anything of you, and I am begging you now, please, please forget Teresa and marry Gwen. Father, loathe as I am to admit it, if anyone can convince Ethan to honor his commitment, it's Ivy. It's true. The boy always doted on his mother. I can't imagine he'd crush her hopes and dreams. Come on, Ethan, do the right thing. Not just for your sake, for the sake of that little slut, Teresa. Please, please marry Gwen tomorrow. Don't break my heart. Try to understand, the last thing I want to do is hurt you or Gwen. But I love Teresa. Oh my God. It, it happened so gradually I didn't see it coming myself. I, I realized it when Teresa almost died in that motorcycle accident. I should have never hired her to work for me. I should have never sent her to the ballet with you. This is all my fault. You're damn right it is, Ivy. See, I'm not the only one to blame for this debacle, Father. Ivy herself admits that she kept throwing Ethan and Teresa together. And you two call yourselves parents? I don't care who's more to blame. If Ethan's wedding to Gwen doesn't take place tomorrow, I'm gonna hold both of you responsible. Oh, your grandfather is very upset. Well, I'm sorry about that, but I have to do what's right. It's not fair to marry Gwen. Forget fair! I mean, this union has been in the works since the day you two met. Ethan. Ethan, even if you have feelings for Teresa, I know you still love Gwen. She is the right woman for you. She will make you happy. You do trust me, don't you? Yes, Mother. Oh, oh thank God. <laughs> you had me scared half to death. Oh, everything's under control, Father. Ethan will marry Gwen tomorrow as planned. <laughs> You've misunderstood. I haven't changed my mind. I'm not marrying Gwen. Oh, darling, I am so sorry I took so long. You know how the girls are. But if you still would like some time alone, I'm all yours. Ivy, what's wrong? No. Uh, I think it just hit her that her little boy is getting married tomorrow. Oh, Ivy, don't worry. Just because Ethan will be my husband doesn't change the fact that he's your son. Now you'll have the two of us. Oh, I'll be right back. I have to say goodnight to the mayor and his wife. How could you just rip the smile off of her face? I mean, you might as well just stab her in the heart by calling off the wedding. Mother, I would like to talk to you alone for a minute. But I'm your father. I... Now, do you believe me? Everybody was saying I was just some sort of paranoid snob for, for accusing your housekeeper's daughter of going after Ethan. Do you want Rebecca a medal for being right? That doesn't change a damn thing here. You're right. <sighs> Ivy may be our last hope here. Oh, pray God she can talk him out of this insanity. Mother, father wants to speak with you again. Listen to me, Ethan, and listen well. I have great plans for your future, but they include Gwen by your side as your wife. I'm warning you, if you don't go through with your wedding to her tomorrow, there'll be grave consequences. Well, I'm just going to have to accept that. Ethan, listen to your grandfather. Be practical, son. You can have your cake and eat it, too. Marry Gwen and keep Teresa on the side. Please, I am begging you. Don't throw your life away. Marry the woman you were destined to marry. But, but that's what I'm trying to tell all of you. I don't think G Gwen is that woman. Okay. I just said goodnight to our last guest. We can finally be alone. <clears throat> Everything I've always dreamed of is about to come true. And tomorrow, I will be Mrs. Ethan Crane. Gwen, let's find some place to talk. And now? But there's still so many last minute plans to go over. Oh, Mother, no there aren't. You're just getting a little nervous. Look, I haven't had a, a quiet moment alone with Ethan in days. Let's go find some place private, sweetheart. You have a wonderful future, Ethan, don't. 
throw it away. Father, it appears we're about to find out if Ethan is a true crane. Well, actually, she did make a brief appearance. But I convinced her to go away. Hopefully for a long time. I don't understand. Well, I made her an offer that any self-respecting gold digger just could not refuse. A plane ticket anywhere she wanted to go as long as she went tonight. <laughs> My God, Rebecca. You should have been a crane. Yes. Well, at any rate, um, there is nothing to worry about. Since Teresa only wants Ethan's money, I'm sure she'll be happy to take an expensive vacation. And then the wedding between your son and my daughter will go on tomorrow as planned. Oh, I hope so. I've given up a lot for Ethan's future. Oh, are you as excited as I am? 